Hey guys, what's going on? Druzy here back again with another best of video for you guys here on the channel. And today we're talking about Timmy, which I discussed last week that I would talk about Timmy this week. Uh, count up your votes for next week. Next week will be Token. Token has gotten the number of votes for next week's video. Following that will probably be Dougie, as that should be, I think, the last one that has four cards that has cards in all four themes that I haven't done yet will be Token and Dougie. But again, let me know down below if I've missed any other ones. I don't think I have, as Kyle only has three right now in the meta. Craig only has a couple. Uh, Tweak only has a few. So we've got some ways to go. Uh, Ike only has three right now. So we're going to have to wait on Ike as well. But we're going to go ahead and talk about Timmy like I said. So again, I'll go through all four Timmys. I'll kind of tell you as I go along which ones I think where they kind of lie as far as uh, the best one and then we'll talk and wrap it up at the end with some stuff some other things I want to talk about real quick number one is I want to do a quick shout out to big 420 uh, he's a really awesome youtuber right now still trying to get his feet wet as far as getting more and more subscribers and getting more views and you guys should give him some because I'm telling you he's right now in legendary arena has some great uh, gameplay as far as in PvP and his commentary is absolutely hilarious. I will post a link down below for his channel. I want you guys to please check him out. He is amazing. Also, uh, earlier this morning got some news from some of the guys at Red Links that have told me that they're going to be allowing us YouTubers that do streams to give away some prizes to you guys during our stream. So I'm going to try to do at least one or two streams. I've been doing one stream a week trying to do it probably two or maybe more going on further on throughout the course of my uh, experience here. Um, I know that some of you guys have been, a lot of you guys have been able to check it out, but not all of you have been able to check it out. But if you're able to check out my streams, I will have a system set up to where I can pick a person at random based on the people that take part in my streams uh, throughout the week. Now by Friday, I'm able to enter a person from that views my streams to be eligible for 500 Cartman coins, 500 PVP tickets, and 45 in-game cash. Now, I'm going to need your information for your account throughout the course of the streams, and I'll let you guys know some more information a little bit later on in the week or maybe in the next stream when I get to that point. But if you guys want to get in on some sweet, some sweet free stuff, and this is just a super cool thing that Red Links has announced today that they want us to start implementing for people that are streaming right now on YouTube. So I'm going to, you know, just telling you guys right now, that look forward to that here in the coming weeks and going forward throughout the course of my channel. But let's get into the Timmy breakdown. So the first Timmy is Pirate Ship Timmy from the Adventure theme. He's rare, rarity right now, considered a mid-tier card right now in the current PvP meta. I mean, he's got a pretty cheap cost, only a 3 energy, which is low for most range. Again, most range, as I've discussed in multiple other videos, are mostly 3s and 4s for their cost. So a 3 is, is cheap, considered for a ranged unit. His current attack speed is 4, which is tied for th three other Timmys for the, one of the slowest attack speeds in the game. But generally with range, you're not getting overwhelming attack speeds. You're just going with methodical damage at a distance. So Timmy does that. He provides uh, good range, but at a 4 attack speed cost. He does 32.5 damage per second at max rank, which is the s lowest Timmy for overall damage right now within the current meta. And is 12th best out of the top 20 damaging ranged units. So I do like his charge ability which launches a cannonball at the nearest enemy and can do a devastating amount of damage. The problem also is that that charge ability takes quite a bit of time to charge up. So you have to kind of take that into consideration uh, when using Pirate Ship Timmy just that it's going to take a good minute for him to charge up that cannonball which can leave him at a disadvantage. Now his cannonball can be fired at any unit and even the enemy new kid so that's also something that kind of bodes out in his favor but in my opinion right now Tim, pirate ship timmy is the third best timmy right now within the game but again uh we'll kind of re review the ratings at the end of the video and let me know down below what you guys think the next timmy from the sci-fi theme is mecha timmy now mecha timmy is widely debated as as to be the best legendary in the game i don't think he's the best legendary in the game i think he's the second best legendary in the game behind medusa baby and one of the main reasons for that is he has lower health than medusa baby he does do more damage at his base stat at level one in fact he's the highest damaging ranged unit in the game right now at 44.2 damage per second he has an attack speed of a 3.1, which is faster than any of the other Timmys, and one of the fastest attack speeds for a ranged character. He has the same range distance of 5 as did 
pirate ship Timmy as well. And his charged ability allows you to control the nearest enemy for three seconds. Now that power duration will increase as you level him up, so it will get you know better and better as you kind of go along in leveling him. I love Mecha Timmy. He's the best Timmy, without question, in my opinion. Second best legendary card in the entire game, and definitely is the best Timmy. A four energy cost is similar to most range units. He's devastating. A lot of people will immediately cast Lightning Bolt or a spell to take out Mecha Timmy as quickly as possible because you need to. He can be devastating and completely turn around a match if you just leave him alone. You have to kill him as quickly as possible, and often that's why a lot of people roll in Legendary so they can cast out a quick Lightning Bolt, kill him, and or use a Poison to methodically slow him down and kill him with a sci-fi deck. Loving Mecha Timmy right now. He's the best Timmy. So I know that some people have criticized me to say, oh, Drew, you only pick fantasy cards as the best cards. Not in this case. Mecha Timmy, as a sci-fi unit, is the best Timmy, period. But let me know down below what you guys think, again, as we continue to go through here. The next Timmy we're going to talk about is from the mystical theme and an epic card, Pope Timmy. Now, to me, Pope Timmy is one of the worst cards in the game right now. He's definitely one of the worst range units, in my opinion, now, statistically, he's not one of the worst range units in the game. He does have a 4 attack speed, and he does do 33.8 damage per second, which is the 8th best out of the top 20 range units for damage. So he's up in the top half of damage per second at max rank. But he has a 7 energy cost, which is crazy high right now for a range unit. Yes, his war cry can revive the last dead ally. One of the big things that Pope Timmy really was very overused in the early parts of the game because he was easy to obtain, and if you had Man Bear Pig, he was a devastating combination with Man Bear Pig. Of course, Energy Staff, Pope Timmy, and Man Bear Pig ran rampant in the early parts of the game if you had this game near launch, which I did, and I noticed this a lot, pushing up my way up the PvP ranks, especially in the 20s and 30s. It was insane just to see, you know, if you saw a Mystical and you saw Man Bear Pig played, you knew they had Pope Timmy just waiting in the wings to be used. And then it pretty much devastated you because back then you probably didn't have high enough cards to deal with that epic push. Although it costs 14 energy to cast just those two cards between Man Bear Pig at 7 and Pope Timmy at 7, if you had an energy staff and used it beforehand, you could easily get that energy much, much quicker. So that was only really the true time, in my opinion, that Pope Timmy really shined. You have hardly seen him at all in the meta now since that early parts of the game when he was used a lot, especially with Man Bear Pig. So, I, you know, you're not, you're not going to see him. Maybe he will get some love in this epic legendary update that's supposed to come out. They, they haven't fully announced again when it's going to come out. Probably sometime in the end of this month here in February or early March is what we all are anticipating. So, but hopefully when it comes out, maybe he'll be better. But right now he's the worst Timmy without question. And one of the worst cards in the game, in my opinion, is Pope Timmy. So I would suggest not using him or leveling him up if you can help it. And the last Timmy we're going to talk about is from the Fantasy theme, and he's a rare card, Catapult Timmy. And Catapult Timmy is a favorite called, you know, Try Hard Timmy is what he's also kind of called a little bit as a joke. He is runs rampant in the Legendary Arena because he's an extremely strong card. He is a high tier card. Uh, a 3 energy cost, a low tier cost card for a, a Timmy as well. Same range as all the other Timmies at 5. And he summons... Uh, rats and throws rats at you. Now, this he did get a debuff about midway through uh, Season 1 before the reset of Season 2, wh where his rats, he threw three rats, but now he only throws two rats. So that was something that they did do, is nerf the amount of rats that he throws out. And it does take a little while for his charge ability to put the rats in the catapult and then shoot the, ca the rats across the battlefield before he does any other attacking. He does, again, have a four attack, similar to the three of the other Timmies, other than Mecha Timmy, and has a 32.8 damage per second, which is the 10th best out of the top 20 damaged range units. Uh, again, highly popular card. In my opinion, though, not big. I, I don't play Catapult Timmy that much. I've, I've started to like him a little bit more and more. I would put Catapult Timmy second on the list as far as the best Timmies right now. Uh, it's going to be Mecha Timmy number one, Catapult Timmy number two, Pirate Ship Timmy number three, and then Pope Timmy is fourth. So let me know down below, guys, what you think of this voting for these Timmies and what you think about these Timmies and why you think that your, that you, that your Timmies are better than what I selected here. 
I'm going to continue, like I said, to continue to do these best of videos once a week. So Token will be next week, followed by Dougie. And then we're probably going to take a break from this until we get four cards from each theme in some of these other cards. Um, and, you know, really enjoy doing these videos. Thank you guys again for the support. Again, check out Big 420's YouTube page, and I will post a link down below. But until next time, guys, my name is Drewzy.